last phase of today's workshop. Let me combine groups now because we need to do this in a combined manner. Maybe this group combined with that group. This one combined with that group. Right, we combine huh? later on. But wait for the ladies to come in. Have all of you played this game called Bottle Cap? Ah, kita nak kena ada space. I think we go over there. Okay, some can go here, some go over there. I'll uh, share with you the game later on. Okay, it's a, it's a fun game. Huh? Just to get nothing to do with policy, nothing to do with culture. <laughs> it's just a game. You think, what game is that? Policy and culture? No, no, no. It's not going to be done. It's just for us to get ourselves going back again. Back to uh, alert mode. Ah, uh, you're alert. Ta. That's when I was in school, before I was teaching in a, in a poly and JC. Eh? It's always after lunch, all the lecturers stand up lecture because they know they cannot get the students. Huh? Half of them will be falling asleep. Uh, and that's normal because of the blood glucose level lah. Sebelum you makan, your level is here, right? Bila you makan, your insulin goes out, grab all the carbohydrates, put it back into the cells, so it goes down. But it will go up again, about one hour, one and a half. It depends on the food that you eat and the amount that you take in. So that's why macam gini, kita semua before kan, you makan, all the glucose is being taken care of because they're not metabolized, right? So the insulin goes out, lock and key method, grab the sugar, puts it into the cells. So you go down. Tu pasal kita sepenat. Uh, it goes down and then it goes up. They call it the blood glucose cycle after meal. Ah, uh, that's why after one and a half hours, one hour, you feel a little back again. Ah, uh, so that's quite normal, normal reaction of the human body. Okay, siapa lagi? Yeah, we have. Okay, all here. Formula. Lagi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's begin lah. It's already two plus. Can we all? Can you just humor me lah? Eh? All stand, please. All participants, please stand. Okay, we'll do an activity. Let us go over there. Space kit, come. Let's let's go over there. Right, quite fun. Okay, I need you to form two circles of equal numbers ah. Tadi tu combine tengok equal tak? So maybe one circle here, tak payah besar pun. Circle dia kecil aja. Two circles. Ah, uh, two circles. One circle here, maybe. Another circle here. Just stand side to side aja. Maybe ah. Uh, combine uh, You have to combine lah. You have to combine. I just need two circles as equal number as possible. Okay lah. Maybe this one, ladies over here. Maybe form, and then this ah. Uh, okay, over here. Can you form one uh, one circle here? Uh, terlalu ramai sih. Okay, maybe Madam, you over here? Okay, can. Two, four, six, seven, two, four, six. Okay, just nice. Come closer, closer, closer together. Ah, uh, close the circle. Ah, uh, close the circle. Okay, jangan itu. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, turn around, everyone. Just look at me first. We are going to play this game called Bottle Cap. Okay, quite interesting. I hope you remember your uh, multiplication table, leh. <laughs> okay. Ah, ini to alert. Kau tiada tiada. Ah, tu tu mungkin apa ya? One times two apa? Eh? Okay. Right. What multiplication table? We will go with seven. Ah, lah, semua ya. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Now it goes like this. All right. It goes like this. It goes like this. Ah, we will start with one person and then we go clockwise dulu. Okay, clockwise. So you go one. Two, no, two, three, four, five, six, not seven, bottle cap. You say bottle cap. Ah, okay, bottle cap. Anything with seven, multiplication of seven. Okay, I'm gonna up the ante a bit lah. Multiplication of seven and the number seven inside. Ah, okay. Multiplication of table and numbers that have seven in them. Ah, seventeen. Okay. It's not that easy to. Multiplication seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Okay, seven, fourteen, can seventeen. How? Bottle cap, dah. Bottle cap. Ah, okay. So I give you, 
But 30 seconds to fikir dulu okay? Alright Fikir dulu Fikir dulu Ah, give you 30 seconds to fikir eh So 7, 14, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Alright done Alright 7 Itu pasal lah 7 Okay 7 5 tak nak senang sangat 7 7 Okay I'm going to make it a bit more complex Dah lah 7 times table Number 7 Bila you bottle cap aja, It reverses direction Ah. So kita macam gini ah. Example example lah. Example meh, kita main lah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Example lah. Yo tengok dulu lah. Okay, ready? ready. We go this way lah. Okay. This way dulu lah. 1 2 3 4 5 6 bottle cap. 1. Dah, tak boleh ah. After that what? After 7 8 8. Ah. Ah, reverse ah. 8. Ah, correct reverse. Eight. But you continue. You continue. You continue. Oh, ah. Okay. So okay. bottle cap Eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Forty-eight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then, then reverse again, kan? Reverse again. Ah, fifteen. Uh, Sixteen. Seventeen. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah, there. There you go. Kalau you fall, you start all over again. Ah. Okay. Kalau start, you. Kalau you salah je, you start all over again. Yeah. Kita tengok. Okay. We we don't time first lah. We don't time first. Ini ada challenge juga. Tapi try first. Okay, ready? Alright, go in your group again. Okay. Ah, okay. Alright, ah. <laughs> ah, okay. Hyril, you take care of this group idea for me, can ah? Okay, we start this way. Ah, uh, we start this way. Okay, lepas tu remember ah, reverse ah. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 Okay. Ah, bottle cap. Yeah, you. Ah, uh, bottle cap. Tapi you, tapi you confident. Fourteen. <laughs> okay. So you reverse again. Okay. Ah. Ah, uh, okay. Dah start balik ah. Uh, then because you made the fault, you start one again lah. Uh. Ah, uh, you won. Ah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so one. Ah, uh, then get again. Ah. Mm. Uh. Five, six, bottle cap. Eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, bottle cap. Twelve. 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 Okay, okay, again, again, again. Okay, come this way. Eh, dah sampai forty two dah bagus. Thirty five, thirty six. Ah, thirty five, thirty five. Ah, seven fourteen twenty one twenty eight. So bottle cap, bottle cap. Then you can start. Ah, itu yang tricky tu. Bottle cap, bottle cap. Ah, tapi you confident twenty eight. Confident tu boleh eh? Kau tengok <laughs> Again ah 7, 14, 21, 28, 35 Ah, Okay Okay, start balik Okay, so you buat mistake You start Ah, 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 12 13 16 Oh, bagus Eh, hey, dia punya turn <laughs> You macam mana you boleh jadi dia punya ah You nak backup singer pula. Dia better nah. Tengok you buat dia pun dia pun confuse dia tengok. Ini aku punya turn. Kenapa dia ni backup vocal eh? Ini aku better. Ah sorry salah. Lah. You start. Ah. 43 44 45 46 Oh, baik. 48 Ah. 50, 51 52, 53, 54 This is the This is the car. This is the car. This is Hahaha. 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 Haha
Confident. 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 Eh? Twenty eight. Okay. Ah, uh, teams. Okay, stop. Okay. Sekarang first round lah. Second round lah. Kita tengok mana team yang boleh kira the furthest lah. Can go the furthest. Alright, can go the furthest. Alright, between both of you. Without ah, uh, without ah uh, getting fault lah. Eh? Kita tengok. All of you start together. Kita tengok. Okay, Hairil, you judge this one. Kalau sal, kalau draw out je, you tell me ya. Huh? Okay, alright. Eh, tak boleh lama eh. Mesti one, two, three. Macam gitu. Ah, ya. Yeah. Cannot. Ah, fast, fast. Okay, fast sikit eh. Cepat eh. Okay, are you ready? Okay, kita tengok. On my count ah. Two. On my count. Okay, you start. You start. Ah. Uh, okay, you start. Okay, number one. Number one. Ready? One. Ready? Go. Oh. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, the hour. Eighteen, nineteen. What the cap? Eh? Nineteen. Okay, now out. Okay, they were at eighteen. Nih? Seventeen. Hey, the caro. <laughs> Dah pakat eh? Okay, one more time, one more time. Kita mesti ada satu pemenang. Okay, one more time, one more time. One more time, one more time. One more time. <laughs> okay, dekat pula tu eh. Oh, so about there eh. Yang fault lah. Yang 17, 18 lah. Eh. Okay, ready? Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Bottle cap. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Bottle cap. 15. 16. Bottle cap. 18 19 20 20 Twin bottle cap Twin bottle cap Mana ada twin bottle cap Bottle cap aja Dia tak ada adik beradik dia Okay so salah habis Oh ni still carry on lah Still carry on lah Tak ada stop Still carry on lah this one Tak ada Oh dah 30 Tiga enam Eh kenapa orang main Melayu tak Eh bahasa Melayu English English You take up. Okay, tak boleh. Out. Disqualify. Disqualify. One more time. One more time. Okay, one more time. Last one, last one. Ah. Huh? Anyway, these guys are uh, faulted at twenty one. Ah, uh, twenty one dah jadi twin bottle cap. Dia nak cakap twi twin bottle. Cap. Itu kira dia apa tau? Cover up, nak cover, nak cover. Twin bottle cap. Dengar kak, saya dengar kak. Okay, ready? English lah, English lah. Okay, English lagi. Okay, ready? Okay. Jalan. Okay, ready ya? Ha, English lagi. English ya? So, sama lah. Ha, sama lah. Apple sama. Ready, okay. Uh, change starting point lah. Eh, hang on. Change starting point lah. Eh. Change starting point. Uh, you lah, you start, go this way. Okay? Ah, uh, Hang on. Uh, you start, go this way. Okay. Ready? Hang on, hang on. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eleven, fourteen. Eh! Macam mana dia bottle cap jadi fourteen? Okay, out. Wah, dia nak menang. Twenty-five. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 740 tolong tadi. Botak okey. Dan de uh, what? 14. You all 20. Ah, okey benar. Okeylah, okeylah. Okey, lah, okay, lah. okay, thanks, thanks. Okey, okey. Come back. Thank you, thank you. Ah, dah je sikit eh. <coughs> thank you everyone. <coughs> Thank you, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> test, test. <laughs> thanks. Bottle cap, eh? Eh, tak ada sound, eh? Test. <laughs> oh, dah kat habis, eh? Hmm. Ah, this one, okay. Test, eh? Testing, testing. Tak ada juga. Baru sana habis. Test, test. Thank you for playing photocap.
Ha? Huh? That is to really energize us at least get things going eh. Boleh berfikir sikit eh. Tapi ada orang confident dah. Ada orang confident. Confident. 27. 28. 28. <laughs> Bottle cap, madam. <laughs> Tapi kan tengok you be confident tu eh. Confident tu ada. Salah tak apa, confident mesti ada. Ha. Ah. to energize people so coming back to our digital task force ah moving along as leaders also na the apa battery dah habis kita nak kena tukar delegating is also part of leadership all right uh, you cannot do everything you do need to get some people to assist you in doing the projects mm-hmm. getting. Okay. How many of you ah macam susah nak delegate? Ha, ah, ada eh? Yes. Huh? Ah, yes. Right? Sharing is caring eh? <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> so there you go. I think some of you are comfortable in delegating. Some of you are not. Some of you scared to delegate. But you have to. I think if you don't then you become overwhelmed. Ah tumbuh satu nanti terlalu banyak projek datang. Then you aren't able to do it well. Task, clarify objectives, understand concerns, feelings and suggestions, decide on go, get involved, review. So you can clarify objectives kan. Why do you have to do this? Because certain things when kita delegate, we give to other staff the other other staff wouldn't know to if you don't clarify objective you don't because you do take that in account too and then review as you move along okay those are the steps to delegating why I introduce this because as leaders too we can't do everything need people good people our staff to assist us along the way too right in terms of leadership and managing projects Delegation is a skill too. If uh, you are not comfortable in delegating, I strongly uh, uh, encourage you to look into how you can learn a bit more about delegating of work. All right? How you can do this effectively. Really, we can't do everything. We need help, all right? And because uh, we sometimes terlalu sangat lah kata orang protect eh, atau susah nak delegate, then we get overwhelmed. And when we get overwhelmed, we cannot plan well. Ah. Sis. Just you another video that can give you a better understanding because it's more serious. Stonecliff Productions presents a powerful methods production a way to optimize everything that you do. What is systems thinking? Say you want to cup of coffee. system which has inputs and outputs the input is converted to the output through a process we can optimize this system by economizing resources that are scarce if time is the scarce resource your first action might be to plug in the coffee maker as you notice that warming up the coffee maker takes longer than the other tasks project managers call these tasks critical path tasks When economizing on time, these tasks are completed first. 
as the manager of the system, you optimize the process through experiment and experience. If you notice that you have to walk back and forth in the kitchen a lot to get the items you need, you may decide to arrange those items closer to where you are working. In this way, you have identified a barrier. If you notice that your coffee maker takes too long to warm up, you invest in a better one. In this way, you improve a tool. As the name supply, tools help the process go forward, barriers hold the process back. You design the system for maximum manageability and value. A more manageable system is one that requires less intervention to achieve the desired benefits. <coughs> barriers and they may also need to be changed depending upon the desired benefit. Maybe the tools you have for making coffee are barriers for making tea. It's the desired drink of your coffee. Make hot cocoa. A coffee maker, one that has the ability to make coffee, tea, hot cocoa. or individuals do not own the property, thus have no incentive We come together as individuals to form a society and elect representatives to manage the systems on our behalf. Your cup of coffee is made possible through a number of different companies located throughout the globe. Those companies profited for you purchase. And the key is choice. Choice is now back to structure. Every system has structures, it's stable parameters. Your kitchen has stable parameters that allow you to make that cup of coffee. But at the same time, they impose limitations on the process. For example, the walls of your kitchen. And, the and you don't change them.
your same way again after day right? right just a coffee but there are so many things that are involved in it again we are working in various systems that's what I would want to highlight or emphasize because your system is just perhaps this but you have other systems that are working within your system right so that's the reason why you must always think of the other systems that are at so that and again when you plan right after this when you plan then you know oh i need to take into account this fella i need to take into account this division i need to take into account this unit because in order for me to make this work and work effectively i need to pull all of the systems of people together Right. So the first one is a bit cartoonish too about the uh, if you don't uh, you don't plan well there can be problems along the way rather than solutions. But this one is really to tell you that there are systems at play here and there are many systems at play from the micro to the macro. So how are you as project planners too, as leaders? How are you going to pull these systems in? Especially these days with all these fundamental changes, disruptive technology, the digital world. A dramatic to media and people and each other. So all the more, right? There are many other subsystems. Dah lah kita ada system. Kita buat ada subsystems. Yeah. All right. So these are the things that I think we need to think about as we move along in our DG journey to ensure that when we do this well, we are taking into account these other factors, these other systems equally as important as your own system so perhaps your own division your own unit this is just one you know of the many that are at play in order for us to make our program back. this is how the world is changing this is. things are now changing again very fast what we hold dear last time what we know now is different <laughs> finish starving for your job. Anyhow, a lot of people are doing this. The skills of the future, and this is again about people development eh, and capacity and competency development. It is not like last time. These days, you need to become multi-skilled. Not only one skill. You gotta have a multi skill. You gotta be creative. You have. You must be innovative. You must be able to create value now. So do look value addedness. That you can value add. This this is value create. Oh, value creation. Right. Value adding. Now. Skills. And I think HR is not HR. HR will agree with me on this one. Critical solving skills, critical and analytical thinking. We said that earlier, right? Info gathering, evaluation, very important skills that we must have now. And again, employers are also looking out for these skills. The bruba, eh? it's not only technical skills yang you must have. Right? It's not content knowledge or your tech skills. Kalau you do accounting, good accounting. Kalau you engineer, engineer. No, there are many other skills that people are looking at. Is this? employers too or even yourself as leader you're also looking out than just technical skills I want myself now to become a bit more critical a bit more analytical can synthesize knowledge too and these are the other things So this is it's multi skill, it's character development, it's about you fast paced environment. And the digital economy or the digital government will get you to become fast. You need to think fast, you need to react quickly too. Adaptability. Because things change. You need to be resilient. 
or flexible eh? or resilient and flexible in order for you to keep up with the times. Again, they say that computers right? Okay, about digital world, but these are the things computers cannot do, you can do. You are the creative owners here. You are the one who become agile and adaptable at the same time. And you need to invoke curiosity so that you're able to innovate. In fact, innovation is the next currency in this world. The country that can innovate, that's the country that's going to flourish. What else can we innovate? Hmm. The ability for a country to do that, hmm, that's the ability. If you don't, that's why. So we need to adapt. We need to be resilient. We need to be creative and innovative. We need to be critical and analytical, able to synthesize knowledge too and make sense of all of this through big data analysis too at many times in order for us to move the digital initiative better and effective. I heard someone say environment, I think this table, right? Yeah. It is true. It is about environment too. Well, how many and thereby provide sustainability to generations? But move along, we cannot. We cannot compromise the environment that we live in. The workplace environment is one, but environment as a whole too. We can. So the private reserve of and women. It is a process ordinary people use when they are bringing forth the best from themselves and others. So yes, you are also leaders in your own right. You don't have to uh, lead a division or a unit, but you are also a leader in your own right to do the work well in order for us to get the job done. We'll spend three minutes now. Go back to your paper. Alright? Go back to your paper. Open up. Are there any other points that you would want to surface now? Alright? Go back again to your discussion mode. Back again to discussion mode. Now, this time around, knowing systems thinking better. Knowing the attributes of a leader. And a critical thinker. How important that is. Do you want written and review any any other points that you want to bring in Redesign. Hmm. Right? It seems that way, eh? 
revisit the policy, redesign perhaps. Maybe we should, yeah, in order for us to get there. Sometimes you need to take one step backwards eh, in order for move to for you to move three three steps forward. Mm. <laughs> right? What to do? Because at certain times we feel we have done things maybe not so well, you know, or maybe when we did it it was too fast. <coughs> and after thinking about it now, <laughs> right? Okay. Very good program. Mm. So it means for health you need, they can refer to the specialist so they can get uh, consultation from the specialist. You know that sort of thing. Yeah. So it is telemedicine, that's what important telemedicine. Telemedicine, okay. <coughs> so but the thing is, suddenly it's negative. Instead of positive feedback, and kita dapat kita dapat negative feedback. Hmm. So, the two reasons why the whole month is spent millions. Is it? Negative feedback from where? Ah, negative feedback you dapat from mana you dapat? Di pada end user, di pada patient, and also di pada personal. What did they say, ma'am? What did they say? No, Apa dia punya? No, because from the patient, mm. because it's consultation, mm. consultation mm. through phone, mm. through all these channels. Didn't work. Tak, tak, tak jalan. Tak jalan. Because you tak tengok patient tu. Ah, okay. <coughs> There we go. So we ended up spending a lot more money? Yeah. Um, Millions. <coughs> Ah, yeah. Mm. Mm. What do you think happened there? Was it because of poor design thinking? Didn't ask people? Because they don't have pilot. pilot? Never start small, lah. Terus. They want to get to the point. They don't expect that suddenly patient, you know, you didn't expect patient, so many patient. Mm. From your normal uh, number of patient, suddenly then suddenly, increase. yeah, so you overwhelm them. Yes. Yeah. So, you uh. realize that the consultation time to go takes longer, right? Mm. There we go. <coughs> So that we to wrap up. Apa sistem ni? <laughs> eh, for education eh. Ah. Uh. Kita banyak sekolah dekat dekat pendalaman semua kan. Mm. So what they do is that we can mention lah. Mm. Uh, previously they using satellites to to have uh, internet connection or something like that. But they lah cost too tinggi yang satellite ni. Ah. <laughs> Tapi tak berjaya lah. Ah. So it's non sustainable lah. Tak sustain lah. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> 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 there we go, can? Hmm. 
So again, in that example, eh, what is wrong there? What happened there actually? Didn't do much of design thinking, maybe, or or. Oh. Again. Very rich sharing, eh? I hear. Very good sharing. That is the purpose of today's workshop too, is for you to get some ideas and reflect on what has been going on for the last number of years, right? And see how we can make that better. To help you out to do this even The Republic of Korea, Singapore, Finland, Sweden. These are some of the countries that have development e government index eh, in 2016. That means they have, in a way, developed their e government pretty well. Right? Able to steam the systems to work. Again, it's not. <laughs> Stabilizing the system is one, but sustainability is another. Right? You cannot roll out a certain program and then at the end of it find out that it is non sustainable. Or maybe it runs into huge costs. Therefore, nicely done, eh? some of you put in on your paper finance. <laughs> Because budget is important. Rolling out a program is one thing, but fueling the project. Oh, that's also another thing. Eh? How much is this project going to cost us in the long run? How easy life is, and when when you don't get into the hassle of bureaucracy, you get I do my parking with my mobile phone, the, my sign papers with my mobile phone, and download the document, open it in a in an app, and then sign it with my phone. I start business online. I do pretty much everything online, except eating. Together, I think in Estonia it's uh, relatively easy.
profound about Estonia that actually you can do everything online. You can open your company online. Yeah. Uh, and you know, that's amazing. I had, I had some from United. government provides us the ecosystem that we can work basically remotely sign any documents, you know, taxes, open the company, anything that is related to any electronic documentation or any documentation in general. Uh, you just need your ID card, your modern computer plug in your ID card and you're done. You can do everything absolutely remotely. You don't need to go to any government buildings to get some paper or something. And so that's that's the, really the part I love about the study. There was a saying that for Estonians, uh, internet is not a, a luxury, it's a human right. My experience is that Estonians <laughs> are not really aware of how advanced they are. Uh, like things that for you guys seem, seem sort of normal would be really fast if you compare it to you know, provinces in other parts of the world. Uh, you know, the visa for me five minutes online. Argentina to Chile. Combine, you know, good services with a willingness to really open up and, and try new things technologically. I think Estonia is way ahead of the pack in terms of um, the type of technology. Yet. Everything is done online. So, what is it? Human rights. Human rights. Yeah, for the yeah, internet. The internet is a human right. Eh? Yeah. Oh, no. The system must be. Mm -hmm. If we want our digital government eh, to be dead at that level, we need to have a solid system. Where. Yeah, exactly. That's what we have been talking eh, right? since day one. The network, the IT infrastructure must be stable and solid. People that are in any part of Malaysia. <laughs> Wallah, I pun nak kena tengok juga dia punya. Saya belum pergi pernah pergi Estonia. Nak pergi juga. Lepas ni, nak tengok macam mana country dia. How is that the country is able to do that everything online? Right? The online tu. Citizens. Employees, even businesses too. I start my business online. I went to Accra. I went to Accra. I register my business online. Pay to name the business. Yes, I pay to name the business. Everything is done online. They approve my business online. Then I can start doing my business online. I just, I did another business. My second business, sole prop. I did it online. Everything is there. The first one, private limited, is also done online. Interesting, yeah? So business, businesses are also supported by the government. And that is done. You don't have to go to the place. I've never gone to Accra. I tak pernah pergi pun building there. Accra? Uh, Accounter, ACRA, about regulation authority. Basically, Accra, the punya acronym is Accra. Right, but basically, if you want to start a business, yeah, yeah, uh, there's your companies, eh? Uh, yes, something like that, lah. But if you want to start a sole prop, you know, became private limited, um, any businesses you want, you go to this place, Accra is a website, you name your business, you pay about $15 to name the business, and registration is $160. That's it, up and running. You can start, you can even register your home as a place of business. Kalau you not do certain things, like baking and all that. Interesting, yeah? How fast that is. So, in employees, in I think this is a 
about having a good system a stable system before you can do this again tak boleh compare jugalah eh Singapore ni kecil ha yes in terms of number of citizens living in that place that's why I think it can be done quite fast we are people we are small so that we are able to connect Tak kita pun bukan country lah Malu je Island lah Pulau <laughs> Pulau je That's why we are able to do it fast Alright Access point pun Very fast to set up But again If I were to extrapolate this ah, huh, And infer And put In context So again, we need to All Right Remember divide and conquer We need to Small scale first Right Test it out And then move on To the next one Move on to the and then populate like that because action this is to test out dulu i am not the kings mesti ada problem so kita implement our project review it look at it first of course before it please after today you all know the critical thing of doing design thinking ask people observe the data mix of the data what is going on there will my program work tanyalah residents too do you think this will work i want to introduce this and then start small you can pilot it observe the data and then move on so again why Singapore is successful because uh, well the size better it's a one government is a, I'll show you the same past thing because this uh, that's why I reserve it uh, for this uh, there is a slide on uh, particularly on Singapore system the connected citizens from just now the projector hmm. support businesses as I said earlier proactive and responsive very important too as the government for you to know what is going on out there so that you can respond accordingly Again, you can have it, but you need to put the word out. You can have the best of products. You call it, eh? Products to memang bagus. It can work very well, but it means nothing if people don't use it, right? Because the true test is when the people, the citizens, start using your product, using your services. And we have this. No, any other time we call it. This is about three years ago. You switch on channel. Some e-services is there. But they make it in a very light-hearted manner. Like through comic, uh, through comic strips, uh, through infographics. Kebanyakan. Sekarang in Singapore, the the thing about uh, marketing is infographics. Very simple lah. Step one, step two, step three. Anyone can use this, call this, visit this website. Finish. And that goes on. Every, almost every day. So you cannot run away from that. And then there is Salah Nikola, Femfle Femfle, the Moss, community centers of course. You can pick it up. Kebanyakan ni CCs lah. Kita have a lot of these community centers. Yeah, In all estates tu, mesti ada one or two community centers. People pick up from there. People pick up from mosques. Pick up from schools. Pick up of course from government offices. And then if it's not enough, IMDA eh. Institute of Media and Digital Authority of Singapore They also have mobile van Going to macam To us remote Tapi tak remote sangat Kecil eh Mana ada remote eh Semua connected So people yang Not so savvy They go down there And then teach them It's through mobile services That's how they work They get the word out there too To increase awareness So strategic in fact, I want to ask, is there a strategic trust in uh, digital government Malaysia? I think there should be. Right? Is there the trust? So, increasing richness of e-services, increasing uh, enhancing capacity, synergy in government, enhancing national competitive advantage. Key enablers, infocom management and governance, public sector infocom competency development, infocom security. 
The secure structure must be good. In order for Singaporeans lagi, Singaporeans ni kena complain. Oh, memang. Kita kalau, I think in the world, maybe the complain index kita first lah. <laughs> Sikit-sikit complain. We need to be more patient, right, cik Singaporeans. So, pasal semua laju sangat. Oh, terlalu fast. Kalau kalau slow sikit je, oh, padahal lagging tu okey eh Sikit lah, tak apa Terus dia ambil telefon, eh hey, lag lah Lepas tu dia keluar balik, ah, okey lagging okey really. But still lag Kaki complain They want things to done, to be done very fast Especially in the near future tau Just imagine that 10 years from now ah, All the kids, eh, anak-anak kita Or the youth eh, bila mereka membesar kelak kan Because they They live in a world that is very fast Right, they call it instant gratification Everything nak dapat, nak dapat I nak info ni, I google dia dapat Yes, imagine kalau you slow Dia complain so, Ini slow, ini every system, slow lah Because they live in such a world So that's why again, the digital government initiative Needs to take into account that part of it How stable again, back to stability Back to effectiveness and efficiency of the system and savvy so how do we create our savvy through our skills future movement through training in Paya Lebar if you come to Singapore ada satu tempat namanya Paya Lebar there is a lifelong learning institute they set up LLI lifelong learning institute that's where the courses are held uh -huh. an institute of lifelong learning set up by SSG Skills Future Singapore Supported by WSG Workforce Singapore Because workforce Understands that they need skills Skills understand they need workforce So these two step board They come together They work in synergy ah. So put that back In the context of Malaysia right? If we can have the skills people Talking to the workforce people And workforce people Talking to the skills people That's good A step in the right direction because in the near future, you need to develop your human capital And there are a lot of humans in Malaysia To be developed, yeah. 31 million oh, 31 million Tak boleh, kita pun tak ada fight lah 5.6, maybe banyak-banyak pun 6 million Tak boleh, kalau 7 dia dah orang dah tertumpah dalam air Kita <laughs> <laughs> tak ada tempat lagi Tak boleh, tak boleh Maximum, I think 6 million lagi kalau kita menampung lah Banyak-banyak Kalau dah naik 7, 8 million dah atas air lah Kita tak boleh buat apa lah Ah, ha, belum belum makan JB betul. Dah ada pun. Ah, ha, ada pun. So because tak cukup tempat. It's a small island. That's why I say again it's a pulau lah eh. Kita pulau bukan negeri pun, pulau. So that's why I think in a way, uh, it's apples and oranges lah. Different, different. Kita punya that's why you can okay lah Singapore ni. Ya, yeah, in a way it's maju because it's small. It's senang nak jaga. Again, small is nimble, very fast. You can fast too. Right? 5 million 31 million tak ada fight lah Right 31 million But then Your 31 million That's why I say Malaysia I kagumi Because you have Big lands A lot of people Can do many interesting things Many opportunities Are huge Huge There are many things That we can do But There are certain things Now In order for us To do those things Right There are certain things That we need to be better I tell you That's it Malaysia to fly a lot of things. but I think that's why we're having going into the public uh, sector and sure that we are on the right track people The service gaps, they call it, huh? stakeholder gap, service delivery to external comms. Of course, there are gaps in between. Service delivery, stakeholder driven service, government perceptions of stakeholder expectations. But first things first, you need to identify those gaps. Where are those gaps? Where can we close them? Or tak close pun kita narrow the gap. Right? Say, for example, between the service from the Malaysian government. 
citizens ada gap tak? Besar tak gap dia? What are the things that we can do to close the gap? Heightening of awareness of all of our e-services to help uh, orang-orang seperti Cik Ros. What are we doing to close that gap? Are we doing enough promotion, marketing? Uh, dah lagi tu, kita ajar mereka Ada kursus khusus Close, close, close Slowly closing the gap Right, so that people are now aware And not only aware, want to use And not only can use It's use It's efficient oh, It's one on top of the other And therefore we can get somewhere So To understanding Problems or That are And closing those gaps We call it the service gap model lah. Identifying activities Identify key functions Defining roles of respective agencies That's one I know we have a lot of agencies eh? Berapa banyak public service agencies? Can you name? How many? 20 plus ada? Lebih? Ministries Ministries Agencies? Ministries 25 Agencies? Inside lah, the 700 plus tu hmm. So we need to identify Agency what, uh, Why are they set up? What are they supposed to do? Okay. Who are they supposed to work with? What are the other agencies that are supposed to collaborate with? Determine the amount of information to be shared. So you identify, see your interactions with it. Determine the amount of information to be shared using the various interaction channels. Right? Again, uh, back to the user. Why? What is uh, the mission of the agency or the ministry or the stat board for that matter? What are we supposed to do? What are the channels? Are citizens using our services? Oh, right. Very important questions to ask. Huh? Identify. Five scenarios where these activities will take place. those activities this so you don't think of activities then how these activities take place mobile okay if you mobile macam mana dia punya mobile interface is it different from the web interface right uh, is it eh? are we using cloud are we not using cloud right cloud right most of the time sekarang lah these days it's about cloud lah Most, even in Singapore, we to uh, do cloud base, right? Then, amount of personal information platforms, do they have to key in every time? Or one time key in, and that's it, all share? Ah, some share, some tak share. Oh. Right? So, by right, if we are all government officials and ministries, it should be one time, right? And then all this, that's why I said, some of those things are repeated. We said that, uh, redundancy and repetition. These sort of things, we can group them. One shot, uh, one time, that's it. Mm. Agencies. I think this is what we say. Involvement of the stakeholders and align is as we align their roles so that we stop all these vestiges and and repetition of this work so between agencies must stop if I feel that you're doing something that I'm doing and I am also re repeating your process how can we come together to reduce wastage how can we do that Kalau kata 
sistem tadi kita dah cakap about uh, sistem sistem dua untuk the internet hmm. but then as I said sometimes if you think manually pun it is they are not talking to each other manually pun you are running on your own ya yeah, that Ah, there we go. You are absolutely right. Right? When I say talk, right? When I say talk, huh, is yeah, in many, in various forms. Firstly, at the highest level, are they talking to each other first? Huh? Aligning their processes, aligning their aims and vision. Are they doing that? Secondly, when I say talk, it's also talking of system. Can the system talk to each other? Can they be integrated? Can they be synthesized? When I talk here, when they go down to the ground, are they communicating with each other? That's why this communication must be alive and well between agencies. And when I put it in the, again, in the Malaysia context, we have a lot of agencies to talk to. Yeah. So it, it's, it is time, perhaps, to, to get these discussions going. All right? My system, obviously, is overlapping into yours, and yours overlapping to mine. Or not only us, that one also. Can we all come together? But this must be done at this level. Lah. Come together, let's sit down and see how we can align the systems. Because I think if we align it, we can save costs. And then not only that, we can be more effective and efficient. Now, is it happening? Ah, good. If it's happening, that's good. We are on the right direction. We just need to see one or two and then the rest hopefully will come forward. Alright? And start aligning their systems. Identifying suitable technology platform, location to So if I feel that this certain e-service action for the citizen atau for the citizen is perhaps me, I should take it and call other small agencies I think might overlap into mine to come in and see how I can collaborate with you. And it's not for me, it's for the residents. It's for the citizens. It's for the community that I'm serving. And when I do that, in fact, both of us will save money. Satisfaction. Ah, right. through your index research department in terms of uh, customer satisfaction right you can like that are they enjoying the service do they feel that they are served well and ultimately their needs right is serving their needs it's not serving your needs asking them what they want and how they can be served better CPF eh? Just now, I, um, remember I shared with you about SIMPAS and all that Let's say I want to assess my CPF Then I got a SIMPAS login Even if I were to go to CPF in your website Let's say I want to Central Provident Fund Right, <coughs> So that's my CPF. Other employers pun dekat sini. Of course, members are here. I have login as ini, right? So many ah, retirement, housing lah, healthcare lah, everything down here. Self-employed matters. Okay, so I login. 
there we go that's Cindy sorry eh? let me just close this first All of these things I want to know more about retirement, housing, healthcare, optimizing my CPF, and all these things. This is under my website, eh? CPF board near my website. So I say I want to log in in here. I click that one. I go to my sync pass. Example, eh? Then I log in, I can get into my account. Say I don't want CP, uh, apa, uh, CPF lah, maybe go another. I run, in, uh, apa tu, uh, our taxes. Tax eh? Let's go taxes pula. Tax kita call IRAS in Singapore. I-R-A-S. IRAS. IRAS. Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore. Government. I go login, uh, login to my see. I keep going, and that's it. Ah, ah, so sign, and then you must ah. Oh, I cannot ask that you nampak pula ini. <laughs> Okay, but because I when I log in there, it will show my picture. Ah, uh, this is I see. So, create my password. Log in, and then from here it goes into a one. Ah, ni bukan straight away ya. Eh? After this, it's a one-time pin, OTP. Can I get you that? Huh? My text, eh? That's <laughs> Oh, lemak. <laughs> Login. Ah, nama tu? SMS. Ah, ni nombor tu, eh? Muhammad Aika, Muhammad Yusuf, dia tahu pun nama saya, tak boleh lari. One time pin dah masuk belum? Oh, kat Malaysia boleh jadi tak dapat. It should show here lah. Ya, yeah, it should come out in my... Yeah, itu. Stack number lah. Ya, ah. yeah, then... Time pin be sent to my mobile number. Oh, because I dah tukar SIM card. I'm using JB number now. Oh. Ah, Sorry, tak dapat. I dah tukar. When I come in aja, I dah tukar SIM. A new OTP. Ah, yes. It's... Ah, security lah. Ah. Ah. Kita kat sini panggil TAC. T TAC. TAC. Ah, apa tu? Benda macam tu. Oh, macam gini ah. Ah, ya. So SMS. Ah. I masukkan and then I go into my portal. Hmm. Will be shown every time when you go into government. Oh, into banking. Ah, okay. Banking pun kena pakai juga kita. Ah, sama juga. But it's all through sing pass lah. Hmm. And then that's it. Just want to access all of these other services. Akra, same thing. Kalau ada lagi Akra pun, it's through my SingPass. Yeah. Interesting, kan? Yeah? The SingPass. Yeah. 
government lah it's all government initiative I pun tak bayar for the Singpah semua dia orang adakan what we did before to set up this was years ago they will give me a letter and then I fill up that's only one time manual after that it's all online yeah and that was years ago private can't do everything sometimes you need the help of uh, uh, private companies to assist companies that are in this area big data analytics maybe uh, even um, some of the IT systems yang kita tak boleh create we can get them to help us but if you can then of course you can create on your own but if you can't, if you don't have the capacity to develop it, then go on the PPP model. The public-private partnership. Betul eh? Ya. Yeah. Nak masuk sini? Sim. Pakai some form of ID. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, ada IC. Ada IC. IC ya password lah. So okay. Sim. It's okay. Stable? Stable? Ya. Yeah. Alright. So that's also another thing ah. Stability of <laughs> what is that? Okay, are you getting a stable? Okay, stable lah. Ah. Hmm. Oh, yeah lah. Then over time lah. So last time when he was starting out, a lot of problem. Ah. For your energy now, online can I pay my uh, I lampu all online? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. So no problem there. Very fast. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> true bank. True bank ah. ah, true banking. Yeah. yeah. Our CPF. Yours is the different one, ah? KWSP. Ah. EPF. So same thing, ah? Contribution, contribution by employee, contribution by employer. Hmm. Is that okay? Oh, pensioner scheme. Oh, kita dah tak ada. We don't have. Last time, my cikgu-cikgu lama, all the civil service officers yang veteran-veteran on pension scheme. Oh. After that, dah tak ada. I think it was, oh, dah lama dah, 2000 maybe? Dah stop. Oh. Yeah, a long time ago, they stop the pension scheme. Oh, you still have a shop, eh? Masih lagi ada. Option lah. Boleh pilih KWSP atau... Atau, oh, yeah. Kalau kita ada, no option. Hmm. No option. Everyone is on CPF. Everyone on CPF. Dah tak ada lagi kerja. I like this passion scheme. My father was once on passion scheme. After that, dah tak ada lagi lah. The new officers, all on CPF. On preferred interaction. The purposes of their visit. <laughs> So these are the things that we need to do when we embark on any e-system, right? Map user.
this of everything. This is again big data analytics. Why do they go there? What do they want to do there? What kind of transactions or services they hope to get there? And then we serve that need. <coughs> so that's very targeted, eh? To know why people go to sites and what do they want to do. Kenapa mereka pergi ke sana? Nak buat apa? What kind of services yang I ingin? Content. So about the same in terms of framework of digital government, <coughs> looking at the people, upgrading them, getting their needs, looking at the process comes into the area of policies. You got. Of course, here got compliance, which is our policy, technology, technological support. And then content. What supposed to be? We have think about easy to use. Easy to use. Tak banyak juga error. Hmm. Again, guys, as we move along, if you want to yeah, pen down anything, please do pen down huh, on your paper. No. All here. Yeah. Any show here is that there are so many processes that are involved. The whole purpose of this slide is to show you that there are multiple processes involved. Therefore, we need to really map it out carefully because it is not easy to, in terms of backend work juga. Right? There's internet crossroad. So many portals. You pay EID. And then document management system, document exchange center, energy, telecom. Are they integrated? Hmm. Health system. Can I get to them fast? Is it one portal, one stop? Can I get all these things from Malaysia.gov.my? No. no, huh? <coughs> close, open up a new browser, close, open up a new online service from government business services currently provided this link will be integrated in service that is what people want right a single online service from government <coughs> So now you go digital, you put the non-digital. If the ones who are still going to the offices, you still need to serve them. Ah. So that still goes on. Quality assurance on transaction and information services. Common services to be delivered to clear standards and measured consistently with performance metrics published and transparent. So this is about research too. Using big data analytics to see whether we are effective 
in that system. In transacting that system, in giving those kind of services. The Netherlands goes digital. As the government, it's our job to support all businesses and businesses with good, reliable and affordable information and services, which we're always trying to improve, and the use of digital innovations help us to achieve this. With the program Digital Government, we aim, by 2018, to enable citizens and businesses to do all their correspondence with the government digitally. Digital aids have made their way into every part of our work and private lives. PCs, laptops, tablets, smartphones, the internet has become an integral part of our lives. At any time of the day and at any place in the world, we expect to be able to get in touch with friends, which therefore all the government. All governmental organizations are well underway to digitize their services to meet these new demands. For citizens, this means faster and more reliable interaction with the government, and they will often be able to find their data once. The administrative burdens are lessened for all parties, and as an added bonus, less visits to the counter will be necessary. The program Digital Government helps you digitize in your own branch. We set ourselves four measurable goals for our program. Our digital service is rated positively in user polls on the subjects of accessibility, reliability, and security. It must be easy for a company owner to apply for businesses with the government can be handled digitally. At any time of day, a citizen should be able to easily and quickly order a parking permit from the comfort of his couch. At the end of 2017, all digital transactions can be conducted through a portal. This way, the company can make changes and submissions via one channel, when relocating a business, for example. In 2017, our digital services are used by the majority of the population. For citizens who are having trouble switching to our online services, we must keep providing other possibilities. Better and cheaper services go hand in hand. Together, let's make sure that the government's management processes are digitalized, while warranting fundamental requirements of privacy, security, and integrity. When we enable citizens and businesses to gain access to their own information, and let them handle their own affairs without any hassle, we're also making the government more cost-effective. By locking arms as one government, we can provide everybody with good, reliable and affordable services. Three minutes. Go back to the paper. Take a look at your paper again. After having some ideas, more ideas. Do you want to refine that? Put in new ideas? Integrating those systems that you have? I know some of you actually have another paper. Wow, bagus. Tak cukup satu paper. Yes. Mentioned about security. I wonder uh, how how you guys actually deal with the privacy and security thing. Mm, next. Uh, <laughs> you know that we'll be. But uh, yes, in terms of cyber security, how we are uh, doing that? You will uh, soon see this uh, in the consecutive. Maybe two three minutes just to take. If you want to tambah like point, you can do so.
Ah, the costings eh. Baik dah. <coughs> Wah, you on, uh, the on your second paper dah. Oh, nak ini eh? Kemas. Tak banyak One minute. to as data analytics the bad word these days eh? big data big data where big data. because there's a lot of open data out there a lot of data especially from the government institutions a lot you have a lot of data there. You have a lot of stats there. But from population, finance, social status, banyak, a lot, right? Now, the trick is how to make use of this data effectively and meaningfully so that we are able to one serve again uh, back to our citizens and residents better the other one is to anticipate it can also be predictive stats for you really it could even be done in research through sem 
structural equation modeling. Have you heard that? These days, right, um, before this, they were using very simple stats. Descriptive stats, right, mean, median, mode, habis tu you punya some of the others ranking, very, very easy. And then the other one, they go to t-test, you can go ANOVA, MANOVA, you can do all of these other sort of statistical analysis, right, or statistical treatment. And then you go a bit higher, you can go to regression equations, right, regression. You can do regression and see what happening there. What are the dependent and independent variables upon each other? You know. And then the latest one, all right, you can go path analysis, and this thing called structural equation modeling or SEM. This yeah, is a in that you can apply in SPSS. Right? They call it AMOS. Uh, structural equation modeling, you can have many dependent variables and many independent Yeah. It will be very, very interesting. So there's a lot of data out there, but how are we making use? All of these things. But it can be overwhelming for the person too. That's why we need to have, in terms of capability development eh, atau professional development, people who are good in handling data. Data scientists. Right? The ones who can do predictive analysis. So that it's easier for you to understand what is going on on the ground. Accurate picture. Because all of this will inform you. The policy and via email, social media, proactive conducting focus group discussion, street intercepts, missed service shopping audit, online survey, those are reactive is post events, so you use both, right, from the post-mortem, eh? post-mortem of event, GDs going down, observe people, talking to them, and you cross-ref, and then make sense. Ha! Huh. This is actually what's happening, and this is what the customer wants. Customer here is resident, lah. Atau the citizen. So you do both. If you do in a research, kan, they are, kata orang tu, one quantity, they are one quality. Quantitative versus research. But the best do both. Alright, so that this both can now inform us whether that thing is really happening on the ground. I 60% quantitative. Uh, I'm a stats person. Even in my research too, I do uh, okay, qualitative is to just affirm my belief. Hmm. So that's proactive data gathering. So you can do this. Normal. Huh? Recommend, extremely likely to recommend net promoter score. Yeah, an index. Right, or Likert scale. Hmm. Index.
Ya. Yeah. Nak promote backslide Ya, di sana. This one. Nine and ten. This is okay. This is a net promoter score. It's how you score for being proactive. Oh, go back. Proactive data. So you know. All these things. Conducting. Apa anda rasa tentang ni? And then you go mystery shopping audit, online surveys, questionnaire, and all that. So, kalau siapa yang tu tidak. This is under proactive data gathering They call it the net promoter score So you NPS percentage This one minus let's say for example You punya happy score Minus you punya tak happy score tu Berapa you punya net promoter score Tapi happy score tu ambil 910 je lah uh, You can lah And that's the highest level lah which is green lah oh, The highest level Ah, uh, That kira-kira macam satisfied lah Extremely satisfied lah uh, And then what is the difference Because you want to know right Between the ones who are happy Yang scoring happy And the ones who are not happy What is the gap? And how are we going to fill up those gaps? Right? So in research, it's the same thing too kan? Kita bikin Likert scale Kita kasi 10 lah Normally, either 5 atau 7 Alright? A score of 7 Likert scale And then from there, you tabulate um, certain, uh, certain times, if you are very apt at doing questionnaires You understand that there must be reverse scores At certain times, jangan kasi positif aja for every 5, 6 positive, you do one reverse score For every 5, 6, because why? You want the respondent to think about uh, To think about what they're responding Kalau tidak, nanti jadi research bias Nanti I datang, I boleh criticize your research yeah, Your research is not uh, taking into account uh, This reverse course You all give them positive Nanti diorang jadi in the mode kan Respondent mode, they call it all okay 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 uh, You are not getting them to think Right, so it's always good you Throw in one or two reverse So that nanti, eh, hey, hang on Hmm this is a trick kau pada trick kau jelah but for you at least you are getting the respondents to think kalau tidak nanti uh, leading questions researchers bias dah the research goes down the drain kan kalau kita in terms of reliability and validity people question so it's like that but now you are measuring the gap between what is the happiness and what is the complaints cause if you have that you can gain a citizen trust becoming very confident and they can recommend this service is of trust, ability, interactivity. To user friendly, right? It has to be user friendly in aspect. You have to now give them the ability that whatever I transact is okay, is uh, in confidence, eh? and then it is highly interactive for me too. Fuh. Spatial analysis, land optimization Fuh. This one is going into high level too Analyzing big data, you can the analysis Spatial analysis, let's say in Malaysia I nak tahu, kita punya land optimized tak all of them huh. So I need to use some data, right? To help me understand whether I am optimizing my land or in certain places je Dia punya population is very big I'm not spreading the population And if that population daerah tu besar sangat What's happening there? Why is it big there? And how am I, ha am I going to handle The demands and needs In that daerah Bagaimana? Am I serving them well? Even my systems too in that daerah uh, The systems able to And even that, if I want to spread What kind of structure can attract these people to get out of the crowd Or land of population Government agency then to look into this Population and land distribution I'm still there lah eh Hmm Agency that look at population distribution is this customized or hmm ada mesti ada to look into this area uh, there's no overcrowding no overpopulation population is spread out evenly uh, and use is optimized right 
at the same time, we also have certain lands that are reserved for environment. Uh, you don't go into those lands. You don't go into those lands. You want those lands to be for action too. But these are all customized. You are now using Katoranto Alala yang canggih, right? Sensors, optimization nodes, blah. How are people? Traveling, transportation nodes during peak period. Let's say, uh, okay, high raya lah, right? Are we able to manage the people moving? Yes, about. Hmm. Oh, are they lah? Is it still congested or better now? Better now. Uh, what are we doing to ease the... Cuti panjang You know in America Remember that they were just hit by Hurricane Irma Right? Before that, Harvey, right? I have a friend in America And he says this In you know, CNN, we hear all of them rosy and dandy no, no, On the ground, they are suffering Right? They want the people to get out of the place Tapi cannot They fail to realise eh, When you get a lot of people to move out In certain place in quick time There are other resources Than you're not going to pump in right? Minyak habis tau Because everyone takut kan And they want to travel for, further They pump in a lot of you know, Every man for himself lah. Ah yes Then that means tak, ada, tak, tak, tak semua pun dapat That's one The highway going out of certain places jammed up it's not easy it's just say, oh okay President Trump cakap okay we're gonna move people out of these areas betul uh, yes you are going to move but how are you going to move them out what other resources are you going to pump in in order for them to move out effectively that's why ada orang juga mati cannot it's just logistical nightmare unless Right, you do proper planning too Before this, you must know what is the emergency evacuation plan It's mess tau, bukan satu dua, mess oh. But they allow people to move dengan domain truck and all that So of course lah, you nak travel far, you pump here sampai habis lah So not all of them get out Not all of them get out Cannot Sometimes you wonder how uh, to do this too. So again, it's government planning, you know. So just imagine if we are going to evacuate people uh, from rural areas atau daerah yang kita takut lah ada benda-benda terjadi. How are we going to do this? Is there proper planning? Did we do some form of analysis? And then when we analyze, are we able to now pump in resources in order to get them out or to move people? Again, this of government service. Like it or not, it is a government service. Government must do this. Field enforcement. There's also another one, right? It's live data. In Singapore, it's anywhere you go. In also connected. Yeah, CCTV everywhere. And we can we can access. I think all of you can you access the Oh okay. <coughs> Ah, Singapore, we can access CCTV. Ah, so kalau I nak tahu, uh, let's say BKE itu ada satu highway BKE itu uh, jam kata I just go BKE punya live live uh, streaming, then I can see. Hmm. It's made available lah. Ah, so it should be lah. So you can access it. Cyber security. Ah, so if all those things, right? Are, how are we ensuring that it is safe?
ever ending war between us all right the good guys and the hackers it's a never ending war a lot now malware ransomware phishing uh, some of them even disguise themselves as government websites oh disguise eh? to get of course uh, to cheat people and get some form of uh, leverage on them either through data atau of course money blackmailing so on and so forth that's why i said earlier right? i think yesterday was it one it is about you ensuring that your system first is very much safe the other one is if they are being hacked who is going to neutralize we must have experts within to quickly neutralize problems when they arise and these guys they are not easy to get that's why again back to hr we need to look into professional development of certain areas that we think are critical must as in cyber security we need to perhaps also i don't know have positions of cyber engineers the ones who are supposed to come in and help us solve this problem if a ransomware atau malware comes into place and not only that who is doing the monitoring yeah the monitoring of these websites who is evaluating first evaluating the effectiveness they are not monitoring is there any hanky panky going on in that website is there another website being guys and if there are how are we going to get these people to ensure that they do not get this scot free all right they do not get away how are we going to neutralize those problems Last year Singapore started a cyber security in school. Now they are doing capability development of people to increase their efficiency and competency in cyber threats, combating cyber threats. There's a cyber school. When you look at FBI, they don't want another, they want own cyber security department. Ah. They do that. So do we have? Ah, so we should. We should have in order for us to ensure that it is protected. Yeah. If not, we are going to end up in trouble. We will stop for a course right now. It's four thirty. Let's have a bit of break. Ah, in a copy skate. In this game, we come back again. Say 15 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes. Come back again. Thank you, everyone. Have a chance to uh, re-energize.
No problem.